With so much content on the schedule this week for Madden 23 Ultimate Team, I thought it'd be a great time for me to give you guys five tips on how to save and make coins with this loaded week that we got ahead of us. Matt, games in the building. What's going on? Hold on. Big Stan games in the building. And what's going on, YouTube? Let's get into this. So, at my number five, sell any cards with immense value that can be replaced by someone who could do the same or similar. So, as you can see, I have a John Elway. A Joe Flacco will be serviceable. Also, will be cheaper AP. Um, I have Armstead. Any other left tackle with edge protector for one because I have the AP. Um, Gronk is the best tight end in the game. So if you got like, you know what I'm saying, a Travis Kelsey or a George Kittle and you need coins, there's really no reason to have them when you have Gronk. Just saying, and this is if you need coins. Uh, running back. Now, AJ Dillon is in the league of his own. But if you have like a Derrick Henry or a Kevin Bayard, work done is serviceable. Um, like I said, if you need coins, you sell these players. Marquez, and I speak, let's not talk about this. But a slot wide receiver, honestly, when I'm when we talking price to performance, I don't think it gets any better than Anquan Bolden. Literally free 99 as long as you have the time. And and I have a lot of players on defense that could also, you know what I'm saying? Shaquille Leonard replaces a lot of positions because he's really good. Uh, the free Tariq Willen I have as my CB1. So I could possibly get rid of a Denzel Ward. Willen plays really, really well. So that is what I'm saying. That is my number five tip. Tell any players with value that can be replaced and you won't see that big of a difference. And number four, stop chasing limiteds. Stop chasing limiteds. Please. I lost over a million coins yesterday chasing the Nick Bosa, the Justin Jefferson, and I wasn't chasing Geno Smith. If he popped up in the packs, I was probably gonna be pissed off. I ain't even gonna hold you. But um, I, I wasn't gonna use any of the cards. Like, granted though, Nick Bosa, edge threat elite, along with unpredictable or strip specialist for a total of one, that's fire. But he's not gonna play any better than Barney. Not gonna be. Whoa! You halfway through the video and ain't like, don't subscribe. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, man. Talk about the streams. You're probably live right now. No kill. Play any better than Leonard. Rushing off the edge in the defense that I run. I don't play any better. So what was the point? No point. I just lost coins. And you, you, you right there. Listen, watching this video with not that many coins. Stop. Stop. Get some help. And number three. Do not buy on release day. This should be noted for everybody. Do not buy any of these damn cards on release day. Everybody knows they're the height, the pinnacle of their price on release day. Uh, Aaron Rodgers drops. Oh, clearly he's going to be expensive. Bro, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. There's nothing wrong with waiting. Don't get caught up in a hype. Literally marketing and business 101. You get caught up in a hype, they make more you being caught up in the hype and that's literally when i make my most profit i make a bunch of these that got the hype and sell them off now you feeding into that coin stack right there it ain't all money man it's a lot of hype man. at number two i'm gonna give you guys a coin making tip kind of similar to number three that hype you'll probably be able to build that set for much cheaper than you'll be able to sell it's a lot of sets that be low-key extremely profitable stop by the streams we talk about them a lot my dear pop in the chat let me know a message we check it out it's legit they stamped in the community yes sir reach man always i feel like this is one of the tried and true methods to always go through and look at all of these sets and be able to make yourself some coins i know for a fact this nick cross that came out a couple weeks, what was it last week? There's a Nick Cross that came out. His set is very profitable. If you can make all of the pieces leading up to it, you can make about 100 to over 100K profit if you can make everything leading up to it, but you have to have the patience. But I feel like if you loan coins and you want to make more coins, that's, you know what I'm saying, that's what you're going to have to do. Team builders have always been a great way to start. If you're only in that 50K and below range, 
sniping the cards to build up to get into that team builder set pick a team builder that's the most expensive at the time rinse and repeat you get your breach up then you get to move on to bigger sets and that's how you do it and at number one turn off 